evening, everyone. Sorry for another quick webinar update, but this is really crucial. This is uh, tonight a, a, an, an email update, a webinar update, sorry, about JobKeeper enrolment and other key issues that you guys need to be aware of. Um, the main reason is that everyone needs to be enrolled by the 26th of April if you want to claim JobKeeper for the month of April, which will get paid in May. So what I wanted to mention initially is we will be enrolling each of you who have, have want us to do so, which we're hoping will be all of you because that's what part of the service we're offering, is to actually enrol you on the ATO portal. Now, as you can see, this is taken straight off the ATO portal. There's three steps. Step one is to enrol the business for JobKeeper, which as you can see, that's what comes up when it's enrolled, which we did for ourselves. Step two, um, is identifying and maintain employees for JobKeeper. And step three is the monthly declaration for JobKeeper. Now, step one, as I said, we will handle that. Um, and I'll come to that in a minute, what we need to facilitate, the information we need to facilitate the enrolment for you guys. Step two is something that whoever does your payroll, which might be yourselves or might be your bookkeeper, is essential that they do step two, which is basically through the um, Zero software uh, or whatever software they use, they must identify and maintain employees for JobKeeper. And step three is where you've got to lodge a monthly declaration for the number of eligible employees. That will also be done through your software, which will be your bookkeeper slash your um, payroll person. In Zero, I'm mentioning that because that's our software, they've got a little JobKeeper section where you can check if you're eligible with a turnover calculator <coughs> or you can work, everyone knows the rules, so I'm not gonna get into that. So, number two, it's about enrolment. That's what we are gonna do for you guys um, on the ATO portal. Step three is setting up single touch payroll, which most people should be now. Step four is where you enrol your job uh, employees for JobKeeper. So the idea behind it is, every employee who's filled in a nomination form um, to wants to be part of JobKeeper, you have to go into each employee and effectively nominate them and choose the pay periods that they're, they're nominated for. Step five is updating, uh, uh, JobKeeper pay items is something Zero is working on. And step six will automatically happen if you use single touch payroll and step seven is completing the monthly declaration which will, can also happen through your payroll hence your payroll slash your bookkeeper is going to be doing steps two and three of the other which is this what zero is also working on is um, ongoing improvements things like um, the way to see which employees are enrolled for job keeper whilst processing how to process the payments and report them pay slips etc etc for us it, on last Saturday night, we sent out two documents, um, which we need you to complete and get back to us ASAP if you want us to um, enrol you guys by the 26th. The first one, this is um, a Word doc. It's called the JobKeeper Rego form. We need you to complete this and get it back to us as soon as possible if you have not already done so. The next document that we sent out on Saturday night was also the, the ATO the ATO employee nomination form, which is where each employee agrees to nominate themselves and sign if they want to be a part of the JobKeeper system. And the third one is what we just sent out last night is if you've got a, um, not a sole trader, if you've got a, um, a partnership, a company or a trust where you want to nominate an eligible business participant, one who is not a current employee or is not receiving JobKeeper anywhere else. This is the form that we need back as well, um, as soon as possible. So that's the end of this guys. It's just a quick, we're gonna be sending out an email reattaching these three forms. And we need you, if you haven't already done so, to complete all three and get them back to us as soon as possible. Um, especially if you wanna enroll, including April period, we enrolled ourselves in this, just to let you know, we know we, we, we're not gonna be um, um, able to meet it for April, but we're pretty confident we're gonna be able to meet this for May. So we were able to enroll for May. So even if you're not um, April related, we still can register you now, enroll you for May. 
but it's really crucial for the April guys that we get you in and enrolled um, as soon as possible. So please get them back to us as soon as possible if you haven't already done so. Uh, and come back with us with any questions if you guys have anything. Otherwise, take care until we speak again.